there's a dream that is always coming to you is to have a farm. Yeah, always yeah. you want to have a farm. farm. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Eh? That's true. But financially, you are very down here. That's true. And I want to tell you, God will bless you with this. Go, don't worry about this. God will bless you. Amen. Are you hearing me? My name is Prince Mtai. I come from Alexander. And can you tell us a word of prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Yeah, the man of God prophesied about me and farming, uh, which is uh, confirmed to be true because uh, farming, it's, it's related with the work that I'm doing up to so far. Because like even yesterday, I was went somewhere doing the connection because farming and I've got this thing of farming together with the trucks. I'm willing to transport the, the farming stock. That's why farming, it was the prophecy. So I confirm to be true. And what kind of challenges were you coming across with this business? Uh, lack of finance and then not, not having a, a, a good connection with a good connection with the suppliers yeah. so I believe that as the word has, has been spoken I believe it's going to come to pass in the name of Jesus and how was it affecting you that it was not uh, going as you expected hey, it was affecting me a lot because um, I, I spent a lot of money out of it and then we were normal like we were fighting with the wife where's the money, where's the money knowing myself that these things one day is going to work but it was not um, it was not going anyway, so now I'm glad because the word has come, has come through. Amen. And what are you believing God for? I'll believe in God that um, as the word has come, it's gonna come to pass in the name of Jesus. Amen. You can forgive. Amen. You need to forgive. Amen. Eh? Amen. Yeah, because there's too much fight here. Yes. You're, it's like you are surrounded by people who are fighting. It's true, did. Eh? Everywhere. And sometimes you don't know which one you can stand with. Yes, it's true. Eh? Even the female, everywhere, even everywhere. at work, even at work. So God wants to bless you. Amen. So don't be part of anyone. Just touch your chest. Amen. In Jesus' name. Hi. Hi. My name is Lois Koza. I'm, I'm, around, I'm staying here around Tembis. And can you tell us the prophecy that you received from the man of God today and also confirm it? Uh, they did say to me that um, I need to forgive. And it's true because I was talking in my heart, even, even, even to talk alone about what is happen, happening into my life. It's not, it was not easy into my life because there was a hatred all over around, even the family, even at work. It was not easy, it was, it's not easy at all. So and the, 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 the prophecy, it was true, yes. And how was this affecting you, the fact that you were unable to forgive? It was affecting me a lot. In fact, I, I even told myself that I want to live alone. Like, even to greet other people, it was a problem to me. Even at church to speak, to chat to to other people, it was a, it was a problem to me. In fact, I told myself that I want to be alone always. Even in my house, I always lock myself inside in, inside my room. I don't want to talk to anybody. Even at work, it's very difficult for me. Some other people, I don't even greet them because it's very affecting me. It's in fact, I don't want, I don't want to speak to anybody. It's like I want to, to be alone. Uh, unforgiveness blocks a lot of things in people's lives. And also you were failing to forgive those who hurt you. What are the things that you were coming across that were not prospering in your life because of unforgiveness? Everything, everything in my life. I'll pray, ask every, ask to God that I want to see this God. I want this. I want that. But it was very difficult in in my life. Everything was very difficult. And now the man of God located you and and also prayed for you. How are you feeling? 
yeah, I'm free now. I can feel it that I'm free, and I can feel it that yes, I've already forgiven all the people. I've forgiven them, so I can I can feel it that I'm a new person now. And how are you feeling before because of un to because of unforgiveness in your life? You know, I was like, I don't know, maybe I was I was having that anger. I was having an anger. In fact, I didn't want to speak to anybody. Like even even to speak to my mom, sometimes I I get bored. Even my siblings know. Like I will I will have a short temper. So now I can feel it that I'm free. Yes. And what are you believing God for? I believe in God, as the dear said, that God has blessed me. I believe in God that has blessed me in everything. Whatever I was praying for, I believe in God that this year I will get it because it's my year. Amen. Be careful of boys. Huh? I've realized that. You have realized that? Yes. They want you. Yes. Huh? Yes. Mm. They are confusing you. Yes. Huh? Yeah. And now your prayer life is going down. Yes. Be careful. Amen. My name is Lucia. I'm originally from Venda, but I'm staying around here in Tembisa. And can you tell us the word of prophecy you received today and also confirm it? I received a prophecy that was saying that I should be careful of boys, of which I confirmed to be true. I remember last week when Daddy said that we should, he gave an instruction that we should come to church and pray for, from Monday until Wednesday. I decided to just do that for myself, praying because I needed direction in terms of relationships. Because a lot of people have just been coming my way and I didn't know which one to, is the right one. So when today when he mentioned it, I realized it was the confirmation to say none of it is it's genuine. Then I should be careful about that. The fact that people will come to you and you would not know which one is the right one, how will that affect you? If I don't know which, the, which is the right one, it means I'll make a mistake and of which I am trying by all means to, to be a person who starts a new generation without mistakes, trying to correct everything. So it is very important for me to always seek the face of God in terms of this kind of decisions. Hence, I'm, I'm grateful for, for God that he revealed this today, that I still need to be careful about these things. And were you praying that God should locate this problem? Yes, actually that was my main prayer point when I was praying on Monday until Wednesday because I felt that I needed the intervention of the Holy Spirit in order for me to take a decision. And now that the man of God has located you and also warned you and gave you direction, what are you believing God for? I am believing God that since God could um, reveal mistakes, it actually means that he could also point me to the right person and I'm grateful for that. Be careful, sister. I need to pray against accidents. Oof. You hear me? Yes. Eh? yes, Pastor. Because I see you driving in a very high speed. And now there's attacks on you. Ow! Ow! You leave that stomach. My name is Bukhadi Manzer, and I'm from Pretoria. And can you tell us the word of prophecy you received from the man of God today and also confirm it? So the man of God prophesied that he was seeing an accident uh, and I confirmed that to be true because he was also saying that I usually drive at high speed, which I sometimes do, so I confirmed the prophecy to be true. And how was this affecting you? I didn't see it coming, um, I, but I'm happy because he was able to locate it. Uh, there are times when I'm driving that I feel like something will happen, um, but I never, I never think about it. Yeah. And were you praying that God should locate this problem? Yes. So this morning before I left home, I actually prayed and I asked God that the man of God should locate me today, and He did. 
and now that he has located you, how are you feeling and what are you believing God for? I am thanking God because first of all, he saved my life. Um, had this come to pass, I don't know what would have happened. So I'm happy that it hasn't happened and that my life is safe. And I believe that everything that I've been praying for will come to pass now that I've been delivered. I'm seeing you with a lady. Huh? I'm seeing you with a lady like this. What is she? She's she's huh? here. You want to marry? Yes. Huh? Yes. But Satan tried to tempt you. Okay. Huh? I understand. I'm not telling you to understand. I see Satan try to tempt you. Okay. To take you away so that you lose this thing that is in you here. All right. Where is the lady? Uh, I don't know, but she's here. C call her. Uh, take a lady. You want to marry her? Yes. When? Uh, we're still talking about it because she's still studying. You people here, you need to take time with God. Yes. Because this temptation I'm seeing here can finish what God has given you. Yes, Dad. Okay. You hear me? Yes. I'm speaking this because of the favor. You understand? Yes. Amen. Uh, Amen. Yeah, and, and also, this, you have got too much things you want to achieve. Yes, you. Dad. Yes. And this thing can delay marriage and brings temptation at the same time. You understand? Yes, Dad. Uh? Yes, Dad. Uh, so, mm. we need to pray for you. If not, you know, the beginning is very, very important. Amen. How you, you can do these things, how you can reach the point of marriage. God says, I must get, cancel you. Because if not, uh, you can lose everything that God wants to do with you. I'm afraid for you. Yes, Dad. Amen. That's why Satan is tempting you to lose everything. There's nothing that you are holding right now. Okay. You understand? Yeah, I understand. Huh? I understand. And God loves you because. Otherwise, the grace of God is locating you. But due to the fact of the delay, 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 this can lead someone to sin. I'm sure I'm understood. Yes, yes. yes. I want to pray for you. And, and uh, let us not wait when you finish what you want to finish. Because it seems as if you won't finish what you want to finish. You. It's yes, like you do this from there, you are that, you know, yeah, until you went out. That's true, Dad. Eh? That's true. Is it true? Why you say it's true? Because yeah. I did have, I have some qualification that I did, then I worked, I resigned, then I went, now I'm doing another thing. You do another and one, and now you go to do another one, just like that. And yes. until you met a better person than this one. Remember where you come from. Yes, Dad, that's true. The reason why I call you, I want to tell you, remember where you come from. You made a very serious mistake in the past. That's very true. Huh? That's very so true. So now, with this man, you don't need to wait to finish this, that, that, whatever. I mean, it's too much now. Uh, I mean, it's like there's a spirit that has wanted to finish anything. Okay, Dad. You understand? Yes. So you'll be delivered. Amen. Go! Ouch! And after this, believe God in marriage. It will happen. Stand up. You are blessed. If you remember when I came here, I asked you what is happening. You remember my first question? Yes, eh? I remember. Yes. Yeah, because I didn't want you just to hold 
something that will never happen. Okay. You understand? Thank you. There's too much here. And this lady, there's too much. Is not true? Yes, that is yes? true. There's too much you need to know. But she's free now. You are free. Uh, my name is Op. I come from Zimbabwe. Now I'm based here in SA in all, uh, State, Olifant's Fontaine. And with me here is Tika Lady. She is my girlfriend, the woman I want to marry. And can you tell us the word of prophecy that you received from the man of God and also confirm it? Okay, the man of God came to me and was asking us, and like, what is going on? Of which he called me out and then he said that he's seeing a lady with me. And uh, what, do I want to marry her? And I, of which I confirmed that, yes, I want to. Then he uh, instructed me to call her out. Which, of which that was that I, I did, and then she came and then he told me that I've got to be careful because the devil is trying to tempt me. Oh, and I confirmed it to be true. So he said, uh, when do I want to marry her? And that's when I told him that now nah, we're still talking about it because she is uh, studying at the moment. That is when he said that uh, we mustn't wait because the devil is trying to steal what I have, my calling and the favor that God has given both of us. So yes, that's what I can confirm. And also she spoke to her uh, concerning us and also about education that we mustn't wait for her to finish if we can do it uh, anytime so that we don't get into any problems. And what kind of challenges were you facing as the man of God told you to wait? Yeah, I would say temptations are there like when you are in a relationship so in a relationship, so I, I can confirm that it is true that yeah, that's, we have been experiencing temptations here and there and trying to av avoid them as much as we could. So I can say that yeah, it's true what he said. And how was that affecting you, your lives, your relationship? Yeah, I believe it did affect me somehow, but I was able to manage it to some extent. Yes. And now that the man of God has located you, what are you believing God for? I'm believing God for success between us and also taking the advice and the instruction that he gave us. I believe everything is going to work out for the good for the both of us. Okay, my name is Tike Lady Manka. Currently I'm staying in Pretoria, but I'm originally from Limpopo. And the guy sitting next to me is Hope Knight from Zimbabwe. Then he's the man, the man of God prophesied to me about. Can you confirm the prophecy you received with him? I confirm the prophecy to be true, what the man of God said about me, actually saying that I've been doing many things that are causing delay in my life. I confirm it to be true because previously I had another qualification. I worked, I resigned, and now I'm, doing, I'm studying another thing of which was causing confusion whenever he mentioned the issue of marriage because I wanted to wait for me to finish. And then it was just adding a lot of confusion because after here I wanted to do something else. So I confirmed the prophecy of men of God to be true. And what was the reason that made you to say you want to finish school before getting married? Because like uh, I wanted, there are a lot of things that I wanted to achieve or even help at home or even for my own benefit to be successful in life. So, so were you aware that this thing is bringing delay in your life? No, actually I was not aware that it's bringing delay because for me it was about enriching myself with knowledge but not being aware that it's delaying me on other areas of life. And now that the man of God has located you and told you about it, what is it that you want to do now? Okay, now I just want to follow the instruction of the man of God that I don't have to wait. And I believe God is going to do something great in my life from now on. Then I don't have to wait and worry about what's going to happen afterwards. And how are you feeling? Now I'm happy and I feel like God has honored me and remembered me. Amen. What is happening to you is exactly what happened to your mom. Yes. It's not true. It's true. Eh? And it's uh, now we need to stop this thing before it's too late. Eh? Yes. Uh, because you cannot afford to have children without marriage. Come on. You are free. Uh, my name is Agrenet Maluleg. Uh, originally I'm from Malamulele, but right now I'm from Pretoria. And can you tell us a word of prophecy you received today and also confirm it? 
Uh, the man of God told me that I must be careful of what happened to my mother, not to happen to me, which is true in terms of marriage. My mother is not married and at the moment I'm not married. Mm. And for how long have you been praying that you should get married? It's been very long because right now I'm, 30, I'm turning 35 this year, so it's been a long time. And how was this affecting you? I can say it's something that I've been praying about. It's affecting me. It's like you ask yourself, what's wrong? My peers are getting married. They're having children and it's not happening for me. So you ask yourself a lot of questions. Mm. And since you were losing hope that what is happening with you and today the man of God located you about something that has been worrying you that has happened also to your mom, which is a generational curse. Today, what are you believing God for? I'm believing God that I am delivered, that curse has been broken, I'm getting married, I'm having my own family. What happened to my mother won't be happening to me. So I believe that today I'm delivered, there's a change in my life. Amen. Mama, there's a demon that comes to you all the time. Mm. Touch your stomach again. Press it. Jesus. Leave it. You're free, no? Emina Yvonne Matebula Numa Ivor Park. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Okay, the man of God told me about uh, the wrongful spirit upon my life, which I confirmed to be true because I will dream people that I would not know and others would accuse me of wanting to initiate uh, their children to be Sangomas and I was not understanding what was happening. So I am confirming that what the man of God has said to me, indeed it is true. And how was this affecting you? Should she ask me affect Anjad? This was affecting me because if I start to dream these people, I will no longer sleep anymore and I will just pray in my heart and I will feel tired. I will feel not like not wanting to do anything. That's how it was affecting me. And were you aware that these things, it's an evil spirit? I was aware that there's an evil spirit around me because I even ended up telling my children that there is something wrong that is happening. There's an evil spirit around. So I was aware. And now that the man of God has prayed for you for deliverance, how are you feeling? Uh, I feel okay, I feel better, I feel free and also I thank God that I am coming here at Charis Missionary Church because God is always fighting for me when I come across attacks upon my life. So I would just like to thank God for setting me free today that the man of God located me and also prayed for me. I would like to thank God because I am free today in Jesus' name. Amen. I don't know what happened to you but you are dreaming about having a school, something like that. Uh, this side, this issue of you want to have your own school, but it will go up if you can be promoted. Can you just stand up this side? The brother wants to have a school, something like that, but you'll be promoted uh, where you are working, and then uh, this will open a door for you that you need to register something that will be a school. Who's the teacher there? This side here. Yeah? Can you just come? You're a teacher. 
Eh? Are you a teacher? Are you a teacher? I'm a, I'm a teacher, Didi. You're a professional teacher? Yes, I'm a professional teacher. So you dream about having a school? Do you want to have a school? Uh, Something like a private school or what? Yeah, actually, um, it's, uh, it's like a, um, a motor mechanic uh, school. I wanted to uh, recruit uh, uh, those, uh, those uh, uh, people who are not as yet qualified. I wanted to help them get formal qualifications. So it will happen. It will happen. It will happen in Jesus' name. Thank you, David. My name is Philemon Mkenku. I come from Tembisa. And can you tell us a word of prophecy you received today and also confirm it? <coughs> Yes, uh, as I was sitting uh, on the other side of the church and uh, Didi uh, asked us who want to open a, a school and then uh, because I, uh, I've got uh, many thoughts about uh, uh, opening a school and starting a business, I was uh, confused a little bit but I could uh, stand up once he, Didi talked about who is a teacher and then I realized that Didi is talking about me. Yes, it is true. I've got thoughts as I qualified as a motor mechanic. I really wanted to, to start uh, recruiting youngsters on the streets who are doing motor mechanic but do not have formal qualifications. So I believe the confessy and uh, the prophecy to be uh, truthful. Jesus. And what was the reason that made you to think of opening a school? Uh, I've realized the number of uh, youngsters uh, wandering on the streets and that I've done research where I'm working that uh, people need to get a second chance in order to develop their lives. So I really need to help them. And for how long have, have you been thinking about this? Uh, it's quite a number of times because uh, in most instances I've been doubting so uh, one month or two, I think about it. We find that uh, six months pass uh, down the line and, uh, and um, uh, I've got a different uh, thought about it. So suddenly, after a couple of months, it come to my mind again. So actually, I was uh, being doubtful on several occasions. Until today, I think I should follow it. And what are you believing God for as the man of God has located you and also prayed for you? Uh, it is my belief that uh, whatever I will be doing, whatever thoughts I'm having, so God is also uh, realizing. So uh, it might happen that uh, I'm not as yet being aware, but God confirm that whatever I'm thinking so it can, can come true. So God's power uh, does uh, exist. Amen. Can you stand up, my brother? You stand up. Uh, because this year is a great year for you. Can you. Yes, you have been praying for God to locate you, to give you direction. Yes. Because you are confused up in your prayers. Yes. Yes. And then, uh, sometimes you want God to use you. Yes. Later you want to do business, so you don't know. Yes. What to do, but God is going to guide you from today. Uh, so. I'm Togolo Mavila. I'm from Pretoria, Mamelodi. Can you tell us a word of prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Yeah, I confirmed the prophecy to be true because I received the prophecy about spirit of uh, uh, confusion. I was confused about uh, my future, whether to do business, to go to school, or whether to work. I was confused. Even, so I just believe as God has told me, has guided me, He will guide me in my career. And how was it affecting you? How was this confusion affecting you? It is. It affected me so badly because I, I even took leave at work, hoping to go to seek for another job. So it affected me badly. So I just thank God for locating me. And what made you to think of wanting to also go back to school? 
So, uh, since, since I finished my matric, I always wanted to go to school. That was my dream. Even after finishing my school, that was my dream to go to school, to pursue my studies. And were you praying that God should locate you? Yeah, uh, yeah, most of the time I'm praying in my heart for God to speak with me, even to direct me about my future. Because as a Christian, we must know where we are going. We must know where we are going about our future. So I thank God for the prophet. And what are you believing God for as the man of God has located you today? So I believe God that he will direct me and he will provide for me. As the man of God has said, this is my year. I believe that this is my year indeed. And how are you feeling? So I'm feeling happy for this prophecy because I've been confused for many times. So I thank God. I thank God. So I just want to advise anyone to believe in God and to trust in Him. I thank God for that prophecy.